So I get asked this question a lot on the channel and I can understand why because really the differences between a bookkeeper and accountant are getting smaller and smaller and smaller. It never used to be that way but definitely in the last decade or so I think that the the roles have kind of interchanged a little bit. So historically bookkeepers used to do the day-to-day -day transactions of the business so they used to record everything, they used to raise sales invoices, look at purchase invoices, look at paying those purchase invoices, you know, just a really nitty gritty detail of inputting things onto a system, etc. And an accountant would generally prepare your annual accounts and also provide reporting analysis and more sort of detail and background into what has happened in any given period to that client. What I'll say nowadays is that yes, a bookkeeper continues to do that role and you'll see that many bookkeepers use the likes of Xero, QuickBooks, Sage, which are all different accounts and software packages that I've mentioned a few times on the channel and you can find a few videos of mine about that on the YouTube channel. I'll see if I can find a link to one and put that in the comment section for you. But equally, accountants do a little bit of that job too. So you might be an AAT qualified accountant, but you're still inputting purchases and sales um, invoices onto the system, etc., and reconciling supplier payments to the statement that you receive from the supplier, etc. You might even do a little bit of reconciliation work. So bank reconciliations, which is typically um, a role for a bookkeeper. There are some things that are different between a bookkeeper and an accountant in terms of what you can do because depending on the license that you have, whether that be with them, um, the IAB, ICB, ATT, AAT, SEMA, SIPFA, ACCA, ACA, one of them will depend on what services you can provide. So if you were to look at some of the websites, you'll see that if you have only taken so many exams, you cannot provide certain services. So say if you've not undertaken an exam in personal tax, then you cannot provide those services. And equally with the AAT, for instance, they have their own set of rules of what you can and cannot offer service-wise. So again, when you're thinking about the qualification you want to undertake, and if you want to be either a bookkeeper or an accountant, have a look at the different qualifications and what services you can provide once you have qualified um, and as always I'll leave a link to those below. Now typically in my experience in the past accountants have the likes of the bookkeeping qualifications like the ICB or IAB and they also have one of the accounts qualifications like AAC, CMA, SIPFA, ACCA, ACA so the further professional qualifications that you can take Whereas the bookkeepers that I've worked with in the past tend to have either AAT or ICB or just IAB for instance. And again, all equally very good qualifications, but if they don't want to provide accounting services then there's no point in them taking that further qualification if they don't wish to, if it's not going to benefit them and their practice for instance. Another key defining difference between an accountant and a bookkeeper is where accountants, for instance, can sign off a set of financial statements, whereas um, a bookkeeper might not necessarily be able to do that because their qualification doesn't allow them to do that. Accountants, their day-to-day -day work could involve a lot of analysis, so a lot of analysis on what's happened in a business, looking at forecasting, so what's going to happen, looking at scenario-based forecasts. So for instance, looking at if a client were to purchase an asset in March, what impact would that have on revenue versus if they were to buy it in September, what impact would that have and what costs would be involved, etc. Accountants also look at the lights of tax planning and they also provide reports. So the lights of if you're an auditor and you go down that route, then you'll provide an audit report and undertake an audit on um, a client's records, or you will provide an accountant's report on a set of financial statements, for instance. A bookkeeper and an accountant will provide information on the balance sheet and the profit or loss account, otherwise known as the income statement. So you can see how sometimes when people look at a bookkeeper and accountant, they think it's the same thing or they don't really know the difference. But I would say if you were to give a really broad summary of the differences, a bookkeeper is more transactional and an accountant is more reports and analysis but it's not always as straightforward as that but anyway if you've got any questions then leave them in the comment section below and i'll do my best to answer them for you but otherwise i shall see you on the next video